Hey everybody, um, so this is going to be an extension of 4.5 that we've covered in class and that there's a current video of. Now, this um, type of content is not included in the book, so that's why we're doing it as a supplement um, document. So this document right here will be both the lesson and the homework for this part. <coughs> Now, if you have a separate piece of paper or if you have an extra page, please go to use that as I'm going to write some notes for you um, before we get into this. So we're going to be talking about composition of functions. And before we get too into that, I want to review um, a little bit about functions. So functions are represented in two term in with uh, two um, uh, variables an input and an output variable so f of x this right here is called the output and x is the input <clears throat> f of x is the output x is the input so for example if I give you a function and I tell you that this function is equal to x plus 3. Now, <clears throat> x is a variable. We call it the input variable. And a variable can represent can represent or you could say can represent or substitute or I guess you should say um, can represent or be substituted with a value and pretty much any value right so I could tell you that X is equal to any type of number and you can get a output from it you can get a different number so for example if I ask you to evaluate evaluate f of x for x equals 4 what that means is this is the input variable so I'm going to take f of x and I'm going to input 4 into the function so that means I'm going to input where x is 4 so 4 plus 3. From here you can determine that f of 4 the output will be 7. <clears throat> now so whenever we input 4 into this function we get an output of 7. Okay now you could also just as for one more example let's say you had f of x equals x squared um, minus 2 and let's evaluate um, f of x for let's say x equals negative 3 now you gotta be careful with what how you treat your inputs and what I mean by that this will be wrong the wrong way to do it but if I ask you to do so we're inputting f of negative 3 into the function this is the wrong way to do it. If I were to do negative 3 squared minus 2, this is an incorrect way to input the x value. The reason why it's incorrect is because this technically reads negative 3 squared. Now 3 squared is 9. And then this is a negative outside, so technically this is 9 minus 2 which is equal to negative 11 okay this is wrong this is the wrong way to input now the right way to input <coughs> if I did f of negative 3 is I have to use parentheses like what I did up here notice that for my input value I used my parentheses so any place you see an x value, a spot for the input value, use parentheses. So I'm going to write in 
negative 3 squared because this right here is the input value and then minus 2 <coughs> now I will get a different answer here because negative 3 squared <coughs> is negative 3 times by negative 3 and that's minus 2 and that is equal to 9 minus 2 which is equal to 7 so you see how we got a different answer than what we did up here this is right this is the right way to input and that is through you uh, by using parentheses so use parentheses to input. This is what's important right here. Use parentheses to input. Now today we're going to be talking about the composition of functions. Which means, so composition of functions Composition of functions means <coughs> that, um, <coughs> well, let's say you have, so let f and g be two different functions. Of x. So that means so f of x and g of x so these are two different functions so they have two different outputs if you were to input a value um, <coughs> now a composition is written like this f of g of x and I'll talk about what this means, but this is how you write a composition. f of g of x, which is like saying f of g of x. So composition of functions is like you're inputting a function, inputting a different function. So, like up here, we had, if we were inputting values of x into a function. Here, if we have two different functions, a composition of a function is inputting a function into another function. So this right here is a composition. And so that's what we're going to be doing today, is inputting functions into other functions. And we have to remember, we have to use appropriate, we need to have appropriate use of parentheses if we're going to do this correctly. So let's go for our first example to number 7. Now on number 7, it gives us two functions, g and h. g of x is equal to negative 3x minus 3, and h of x is equal to x squared plus x. Now we want to find the composition of g of h of x. This we can write as g of h of x, where h of x is now the input. h of x is what we are inputting into g of x. This is h of x, this is g of x, right? So let's find g of h of x. So this is what we're inputting, right? So just like what we did with values, we're going to take g of x, which is this function here, and input h of x into the x location. So this is equal to negative 3 h of x minus 3. Now, this is equal to we need to replace h of x with this right here h of x so 
So I am going to write this as negative 3 times by x squared plus x minus 3 because this is h of x. We just inputted h of x into g of x and now we're going to simplify. I can distribute this negative 3 inside the parentheses so this would be equal to negative 3x squared minus 3x minus 3. Thus we have the composition of this of these two functions which is g of h of x. Now let's do one more example. So for 8 we want we have h of x which is equal to x squared minus 2x and g of x which is equal to 3x plus 5. And the composition we're looking to find is h of g of x. I can rewrite this as h of g of x. So let's find h of g of x. The input function is g of x. And we are inputting it into h of x. So right here, right here, and right here. So this is equal to Remember to use parentheses. I have to use parentheses. I'm inputting h of x into these x locations. So g of x, which is negative 3x plus 5, this is being squared, minus 2 times by negative 3x plus 5. Parentheses are very key here. Now we need to simplify. So this is equal to, since this is being squared, I can, I'm going to write this as negative 3x plus 5 times by negative 3x plus 5. So this right here is equal to that. And I'm just going to distribute this negative 2 inside here. So here I have negative 6x, um, or positive 6x minus 5, minus 10, sorry. Now I'm going to perform the operation here by foiling or distributing. So this is equal to, so negative 3x times negative 3x is positive 9x squared. Negative 3x times by positive 5 is minus 15x. 5 times negative 3x is negative 15x. And 5 times by 5 is 25. And I still have plus 6x minus 10. So let's combine like terms. I have the 9x squared. I have negative 15x, negative 15x, which is 30x, negative 30x, but I also have this positive 6x, which would make it negative 24x. And last, I have the constants here at 25 and negative 10, which is positive 15. And there we go. We just found h of g of x, a composition of two functions. Okay. So that should give you an idea of how to input functions into other functions. Now let's come up here and do just a couple more examples but these ones are going to be a little bit different so it says perform the indicated operation these are still um, composition of functions but let's read it as it says so here this is equivalent to g of f but we're no longer it's no longer g of f of x we have a value here so g of f of negative 3. Okay, so this is a composition. What this is telling me to do is to input the function f into g of x, but we are inputting negative 3 into f of x. So this is how I would recommend going about this. 
one way we could go about it is we could take f of x first so we could solve for g of f of x which means we are inputting f of x into g of x and then we could plug in negative 3 or what we could do is we could solve for f of negative 3 so you see here inside is f of negative 3 so we could solve f of x for negative 3. So let's do that. Let's find f of negative 3. So here's f of x. So I'm inputting negative 3 into the function. So this is equal to negative 3 times by negative 3 minus 5, which is equal to negative 3 times negative 3 is 9, subtract 5, so this is equal to 4. So f of negative 3 is equivalent to 4. So now let's look at this. So g of f of negative 3, f of negative 3, we already said, we just found out that this is equal to 4. So if we simplify this, we can change, we can make this, we can evaluate this as g of 4. So now we can evaluate this composition of functions by evaluating g of 4. So now let's take g of x and input 4 into the function. So g of 4 is equal to 4 times by 4 plus 4. Now this is equal to 16 plus 4 which is equal to 20. And there you go. So we just solved this right here is equal to g of f of negative 3. We already found that g of negative 3 was negative 4 or was positive 4 so then g of 4 was equal to 20. So this right here is our solution for that. And there you go. That's composition of functions, and that's really all it is. So go through this um, worksheet. There's still um, quite a few problems to do, and it's good to get the practice in. This will be graded. This will be the rest of it will be your homework assignment. So make sure you took good notes and that you can finish this off. Um, email me if you have any questions. Thanks.